comes the shitty boy. Distortion attack. Distortion field attack. Yeah, I ain't gonna lose. Fuck, I gotta go. This is a custom, yeah? And then... That was it, and it gets real upset. Yeah, um... Del Sant 6 versus Dom, he's like, oh jeez, an Earthling Kempo fighter, Ooh, I hate him. And he's like, good, I'll beat you up. Um, and against uh, Hokuro and Gingu, I stop right there, bring you in, give me a big commander rank. And then Hokuro speaks in the same accent, like dialect, he's like, whoa, Gingu, you can do that. He's like, I guess I picked it up after in his comedy act. He's like, hey, I ain't a joke. Yeah, that's that guy, he left. See, we're not even getting to kill these guys because the game sucks and I hate it and I'm bad. Did you miss? Um, the Dragonar boys getting their upgrade. And then everyone rescuing the Dendo boys, which is what we're doing now. Okay, charge, here we go. what that question is. I understand all of the words, but not in that sequence and order. There's Eris. This is the, the guy. Which is fine, because who gives a shit, really? But yeah, you know, we got everything back. I'm gonna beat you up. Let's get him. Hell yeah. I don't care if it's a robot or a lady. We're gonna get him. Going good, except that this stage is bullshit. You have three turns to blow everything up or get everybody on the disc to leave. God damn smash! Oh, 
をするがいいうわライジングスパイシはい、if Saburoda fights this lady, he goes, hmm, she's a little bit older, but still pretty nice. Huh, what are you babbling about? Sorry, but I'm short on time today. Our date's gonna have to wait till later. But, Dion de Lee's. Do you mind that almost short journeys get 10 HP? For, do you mean use mercy on the enemies to get the right kills? Or do you mean get really beat up and then heal them? Because you don't have to get them to. Nothing, mate. Right? You have to get into minimum, it's great. Yeah, it's like, like G Gundam, like, like you can lean hard on the environmental, like the environmentalism aspect of the thing. Which is like most Gundam, right? Like you could have Master, like you can do Shah's counter attack and have Master Asia helping to drop the rock because he's like, you gotta get everybody off Earth, Earth to. Let it heal because it's all fucked. I mean, like, the logic's sound. Humans completely fuck up the entire planet. Well, they were trying not to kill that. Like, it sounds like he's just being weird and bad, to be honest. Like, humans completely pollute, fuck up the planet, make humans leave for 10,000 years. And it probably recover. It recovered from the extinction event that destroyed the dinosaurs, right? Yeah, like you could have Gargantia be like, oh hey, we're the end result of Master Asia's plan working. The, the nano machines in all the sea and everything, that's Devil Gundam bullshit. Pineyball's fucking the planet so hard that humans can't live there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, still not sure, but we did it. Time to escape. Ginga thanks Rom for the assist, and Rom says, None are needed, and see you again. I 
I mean, like, you don't heal something by fucking up more. I mean, yes, you do. But we'll do that after this cutscene. But back aboard the Desco, Ginga and Hakuna are like, hell yeah, fine, we can relax. And Puru and Kirakuni are relieved that everybody's safe. And Judo is impressed by the kid's indomitable spirit. Unless it's re-break and both they've reset better. I mean, also, like, do you know what chemotherapy is? Um, but Hakuno talks up to Vega and everyone else uh, helping, and definitely Rom, he helped too. Saburoda wasn't around last time, so Don gives him the rundown about the Kronosian. Well, there's a lot we don't know about him. Domon can uh, vouch for skill as a martial artist, which is high praise from the King of Hearts. Okado still wants to know how the guy knows about the data weapons, and Rain's like, uh, I mean, as an alien, he might have run into one of them somewhere, or heard rumours. And Ginga hopes he can get that uh, guy to join us, because then we'll be able to look for the data weapons without having to rely on the crazy programs that Eris makes. And Kirakuni uh, is like, hey, yeah, anyway. Unicorn layer back all safety, so all's well that ends well, right? All forgiven? But he's Eris. I'm, I'm sorry, Ginga. Hokodo. Uh, it's because of my tracking program that Leon the Unicorn fled, and that got you two into so much trouble. Damn right, we went through so much crap because of you! I'm so sorry. Ginga, she didn't do any of it on purpose. Surely you can tell that much. That's right, and a proper man will know how to forgive and forget. But we were so close to getting shipped off to the Gulf of Planet! And Eris worked really hard to save you, right? And we can't really blame it all on her, since the ogre only caught us because we weren't paying attention. Ah, fine, fine, I get it. Eris, you really sorry for what happened? I yeah. Then finish up that tracking program and help us find the other data weapons. You forgive me? It's not about forgiving or not. If we went crazy on each other over every screw up, I'd be getting yelled at every single day. And you're part of the team, so I don't want you to be bummed out all the time. Th thanks, Ginga. Ah, oh, come on, don't thank me. Now, now, no need to play it cool. And then Saburoda, ah, to be a teenager. <laughs> Kira gonna good times. I feel level grown on you. Still killed the end. Like, I'm, like, I still don't know what you're actually saying, dude, but. Like, from the sounds of it, it sounds like that's dumb and bad and boring. So I would say I prefer doing the opposite of whatever it is you're trying to say. But I don't understand what it is you're trying to say. But Vega thanks uh, Rory for her help with the rescue. And Rory's just glad everyone's safe. Uh, Rory asks for a copy of the data she gathered inside the spiral castle so she can run some analysis. And with that done, she tells Harry that Desco returns to his mission investigating the Hisago plan bullshit. And uh, that includes the Black Ghost, and upon Rui's request, Vega says that um, we're more than willing to help with that, which means we've got to do some Desco a lot. And especially in Super Robots V, where you don't need to grind at all because that game's like the third easiest Super Robots game of all time, but you know. Here's Mayo, and he's talking to the younger guys, and he's a guild tour as well, and he's glad. He's glad that Maya has spoken to the younger officers and tried to get him on board, and if he'd not returned to the moon, there might have been an insurrection. But Maya needs no thanks, saying that the uh, officers are all quite willing and able to lay down their lives for the homeland. And uh, now that they're not so worried about the upper brass, then they'll dedicate all they are towards seeing Giltor's uh, ideals brought to life. That said, though, there is a certain faction that's still a problem, and if that isn't corrected, Maya believes that the whole thing will kick off again. And Giltor asks what he's getting at, and Mayo says, Dorchinov, why does he allow that guy, uh, guy's excesses? Everyone can see the, the blackness that pervades his heart, and so that certain he's secretly colluding with the Jovian remnants. And if Giltor leaves him to keep at it, Mayo is certain the cause will suffer. But Giltor says that such men are necessary to uproot the evil that governs the Earth Federation, and bring about a new world order. Little grinds a long time to level Yeah, they, because you level up faster if you fight high level enemies, just. Do it normal, like, doing the repair and resupply trick is really fucking tedious and unnecessary. But if you want to do it, you got to do it and, like, knock yourself out. Nothing to do with me. But, um, yeah, Giltor is advocating the use of a controlled amount of poison, as Zeon once tried to do. And, uh, the Marshal realises that you can't purge the corruption in the Federation system without extreme measures. And that's why, in the Neo-Zeon attacks, he allowed one of them to, yeah, one use of the Mass Driver to bring the Iron Hammer of Justice upon them. And the Earth Seer has moved past the point where spontaneous change can save it. So Giltor figures he'll go the way of Giranzabi. 
remembered as one of the greatest falls of human history, but will accept it in the name of restoring human society. I mean, he's not just known as one of the greatest fools, but maybe probably like one of the greatest monsters, a bit sure. And then Dorshinov busts in and he wants to know why the young officers have not been punished. And uh, the Gurnik's ironclad order must be enforced with suitable action against insubordination. And Giltor doesn't really see the need, uh, as the uh, movement was quelled before any disturbance ever took place. Dorshinov calls uh, this thinking naive and uh, it'll only fuel their attitude and they need to be made an example of. So Mayo politely informs him that the same officers swore their undying allegiance to Giltor and he judges punishment unnecessary. And uh, Dorshinov is like, mm, the son of a traitor can make no such claims. And anyway, Mayo's uh, inability to recover the D-weapons let the Federation reach the point where they can mass-produce the things. How did he have to make up for all of that? And Mayo just says, by striking down the enemies of Giganos. And Dorshinov's like, alright then, fine, new orders for you. They got intel that a new mobile suit is being developed in the Federation's docking ship, the Vion Rose. So he used to grab a bunch of metal armors and capture everything, including the ship. Uh, my O, it's just Roger, off he goes. And it leaves Dorchin off with another matter to speak of with Giltor. Now that the Federation are about to mass produce the Dragonars, they're going to start a counter offensive against the Giganos. So before it gets to that point, Dorchinov wants to make, uh, he wants to wreck the production plants by using the mass driver to blow up key locations on Earth. Uh, Giltor's not having it, and Dorchinov flips his shit and he's like, Do you want us to just sit as the Federation builds its strength? And Giltor just says there are other ways beyond the mass driver to oppose the Federation, and he won't about allow the thing to be fired again. And inwardly, Dorchinov is like, Oh, this is hardly the time for you to take that sort of approach. Maybe something extreme is necessary. 